factorial notation 15.1c. We have two previous videos. If you get lost or confused, you should watch the previous ones linked in the description. A factorial is the product of an integer and all the integers below it. It's what we get when we multiply a sequence of natural numbers that descend to 1. For factorial notation, we use an exclamation point. Here we have 5 factorial. That's how you would read this with the exclamation point. 5 factorial. And it equals 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which equals 120. See, it's a sequence of natural numbers that descend to 1. We can say 5 factorial is equal to 120. The formal definition, n factorial is equal to n times n minus 1 times n minus 2, and so on until we get to 1. See, 5, 5 minus 1, 5 minus 2 until we get down to 1. And factorials are only defined for non-negative integers. So that would mean positive, right? So here's our theorem from the previous video. The total number of permutations of n objects is given by npn, which equals n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 and so on and 3, 2, 1. By this theorem and the definition of n factorial that we got from here, the total amount of permutations of a set of n objects, npn, is given by n factorial. We also define 0 factorial to be 1, so certain formulas and theorems can be stated in a brief manner. How many ways can we order an empty set? 1. So 0 factorial is a 1. We can even use division to explain how 0 factorial is equal to 1. We have 5 factorial. That's equal to 120. We saw that right here, didn't we? 4 factorial is equal to 24. That's 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. 3 factorial is equal to 6. That's 3 times 2 times 1. 2 factorial is equal to 2. That's 2 times 1, and so on. If we take the 120 and divide it by 5, we're going to get this 24. If we take the 24 and divide it by 4, we're going to get this 6. If we take this 6 and divide it by 3, we're going to get this 2. If we take this 2 and divide it by 2, we're going to get this 1. And if we take this 1 and divide it by 1, we're going to get 1. So do you see how the division showed how 0 factorial can be a 1? And we can evaluate factorials. 7 factorial is equal to 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. We do the multiplication and get 5,040. 6 factorial is equal to 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. See? This started with the 7, this started with the 6, and that's equal to 720. Only using factorial notation, we can represent the number of permutations for 16 objects. We just write a 16 with an exclamation point for 16 factorial. That would be 16 times 15 times 14 times 13, and so on, all the way down to 1. Or for 20 objects. We'd have 20 factorial, or even for 100 objects, that would be 100 factorial. Here's a theorem for rewriting with a factor. For any natural number n, n factorial is equal to n times n minus 1 factorial. 8 factorial is equal to 8 times 8 minus 1 factorial, which means it's equal to 8 times 7 factorial. We'd still have the list of natural numbers that descend to 1 with this 7 factorial. It would equal 40,320. And by using this theorem repeatedly, we can manipulate factorial notation further. We can write 12 factorial with a factor of 10 factorial. We just write 12 times 11 times 10 factorial. We can rewrite 7 with a factor of 5 factorial. 7 factorial with a factor of 5 factorial, sorry. That would be 7 times 6 times 5 factorial. See? We can represent 15 factorial in the form n times n minus 1 factorial. It would be 15 times 14 factorial. We'd still have the list of natural numbers descending down to 1. We can rewrite 10 factorial with a factor of 8 factorial as 10 times 9 times 8 factorial. See? 
So we can rewrite a factorial with a factor for 6 factorial with a factor of 5 factorial. We just do 6 times 5 factorial. It's going to equal 6 times 120, which is equal to 720. We can rewrite it with a factor of 4 factorial. Now we're going to have 6 times 5 times 24, which also equals 720. We can write it with a factor of 3 factorial. 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 factorial. That means we're going to have 6 times 5 times 4 times 6, which is also equal to 720. So even with writing it as a with a factor, it's still going to equal the same thing, see? Now you have a key on a scientific calculator, or if you turn your cell phone horizontally, you'll see an X with an exclamation point, and you can do factorials. For 5 factorial, you just enter a 5, you hit that X with the exclamation button, and then you hit equal, and it'll tell you 5 factorial is equal to 120. You should try it. You could do it with any number factorial. Our very next lesson is permutations of n objects taken at r time, and this is without replacement. You'll see in your text it'll say npr. It means permutations of n objects taken at r time. That's lesson 15.1d. And, as I said, if you're very confused, you probably should have watched the first two videos, and they're linked in the description, and there might even be the information cards linked to this video, if I can remember to do that. And stick with me, and we'll check out permutations of n objects in the next video. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.